What up, Fight World? Let me talk to y'all real quick. Boxing fans, boxing uh, podcasters, bloggers, and everybody who just loves the sport, I guess. I was going to let this Spence situation go between Spence and Terrence Crawford, but I see Mayweather got involved, and he definitely... Uh, said a lot of truth. I'm, I'm sure I, I believe most of what he was saying in regards to the fake reports and the clickbait stuff. But I also realize this. Mayweather's loyalty is to Al Heyman. He's, he's been a business partner, partner with him, like he said. And he's made a lot of great business decisions and deals with him. And he's still a good friend and a colleague of him. So I mean, of course, he's going to defend Al Heyman. Now, Al Heyman might very well be up against a lot of other networks of people in these high places that's controlling boxing. We know it's a lot of racism in boxing. And he's probably dealing with a whole lot of issues behind the closed doors to where they're trying to make sure the fight don't happen between Spence and Terrence. And they're trying to make sure the fight don't happen also by maybe help and influence Terrence Crawford, I mean, excuse me, Errol Spence to say and do certain things. But one thing Mayweather cannot defend, he can try to out defend Al Heyman all he wants to. Okay, but either Spence got people telling him what to say or what Spence said was exactly how he felt. And what I'm talking about is when he said what Terrence Crawford is going to have, is going to, have to settle for. I mean, if it was going to be 60-40, okay. But when you keep trying to move the goalposts and you keep trying to constantly uh, try to make things more difficult when it comes to the contract with Terrence Crawford, and you said out of your own mouth, pause, that, yeah, but, you know, but if we fight, you know, he's going to have to go ahead with the 60-40 or 70-30, whatever we decide to give him. That's your that's your uh, word, Spence. So Al Hammond can't save you. Mayweather can't save you, bro. I still feel like there is some fear there, you know. And to even have a rematch clause, like, bro, if you're that confident in your ability to beat uh, Terrence Crawford, why you gotta have a rematch clause in there? Who, who who negotiated that? Whose idea was that? Why y'all can't just fight one time? You saw Mayweather and Pacquiao fought only one time. I mean, would I would I have liked to see a rematch? Yeah. But at the same time, uh, Pacquiao had every round to try to knock out and then hurt Mayweather. I think he only hurt him one time or twice. Once in the fifth round and then the eighth round. But when he really hurt, just kind of just stunned him a little bit. But Mayweather defense is so was so superb. But at the end of the day, Mayweather, you know, he's he's all ego first. I, I get it, man. We we admire his career. He was he is my TBE of this era, you know, when he was boxing because he was just superb at what he did. But at the same time. I mean, I'm not going to rank him beyond uh, higher than all the greats, other greats behind him. I just put him in his own class. And I just feel like Mayweather, you know, you can't, I get it. Mayweather's not being biased when it comes to Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence, but he's still kind of defending Errol Spence in a way because he's ignoring some of the things that Spence has said to where it makes you be like, man, this nigga down, he's scared. This nigga's scared. Come on, dog. If it's not 50-50, let it be 60-40. But don't, don't don't keep changing it and saying, oh, no, no, yeah, we're going to do 70-30 now. And your money ain't guaranteed. But if that's cap, if all that stuff is cap, then you still got to hold Errol Spence accountable for certain things he has said. That is very suspect. And that makes you wonder, like, hmm, why would, why would Spence say that? The reporters didn't say that. Spence said that. We saw him say that when they interviewed him. I think it was at the same fight with uh, Frank Martin. And they were saying, can we just focus on Terrence Crawford? And can you just tell us, you know, that can you guarantee us that your next fight will be against Terrence Crawford? Nobody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that can happen. We can still happen. But if we if we do fight, you know, he's going to have to go ahead and settle for the what we give him, 60-40 or 70-30. This is what Spence said. So all you aerosexuals out there and everybody out there that's trying to be biased and be fanboys or fangirls. You gotta be real to yourself. He said that. Y'all's boy said that. I said that, me. 
I did that. Spence, he said that, buddy. So, you can try to sugarcoat and try to de tap dance around that fact and go to something else and say something else or whatever and try to make it seem like Terrence Crawford's ducking. Man, you know Terrence Crawford been trying to fight Spence for the longest. And Spence has been making Errol, I mean, excuse me, Spence has been making uh, Terrence Crawford wait all these years. And he's still been taking That's why he's trying to, he's willing to take whatever. So stop playing, y'all. Like, y'all y'all look really, really bad as human beings when you can't even admit a true fact and something that's so obvious, even in a sports arena. It's like, dang, how are you in your personal life if you can't even admit some kind of truth that you see right in front of you with the person that you like? Social media junkies. <laughs> I think just like how people think on the internet. You know what? I like him, so I'm going to stick with him. I'll well, fuck him. My loyalty is the sense. It's draft season. Okay. We'll see what happens, man. But Mayweather, you, you can't you can defend Spence, buddy. You can't save him because he says some certain things that already put him in a hot seat to make other people who are not biased and not just one-sided question like, hmm, why would he say that? Why is it? What do you have against Terrence Crawford? And who gives you that much power when he's the ranked number one pound for pound in the world to lowball him like that? Damn, you got a lot of pool. I'm a him, I don't even got that much pool. Or do you got some other billionaire handlers that's way more wealthier than Al Hammond that's helping your ass? I see Jerry Jones is aligned with you, buddy. And we know that Mayweather hype from you sparring him has gave you a name. But really, Terrence Crawford got it from the mud. He got it from the ground up out of Nebraska, of all places. Come on, dog. Who, who earned it more? Who's earned his rep their reputation and respect more? He, did, he wasn't in a privileged position to be in Mayweather's boxing camp and stuff like that. Terrence Crawford was not. No, he just got it where he can get it. He was been fighting all his life. We know his story. We know your story, too. You know, I could get on, on some of the other off the, out the ring issues you, you've had and stuff you kind of smoothly gotten away with and never been questioned about. Mo three, mm, 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 mm. damn! Didn't you and Mo three stay in the same complex of condos y'all stayed in, or whatever, or townhouses, buddy? You had some beef with Mo three, and you like this with Yellow Beezy. Let me leave that one alone. But Earl Spence, you need to stop fooling with people, dog. Stop playing games. If you don't want want to fight Crawford and you want to play games with this grown ass man's life, kick rocks, bro. Cause I'll tell you like this. You either gonna have to take Spence, I mean take Crawford or Boots Ennis. I don't think you want Boots Ennis right now, buddy. I don't think you want Boots Ennis. So your best bet is to go for Crawford, buddy. Stop playing with yourself. Take Crawford, because if you mess around and, and you 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 avoid Crawford again and you go to like somebody like how you went to Ugas and you go to Boots this time, your career will be over, buddy. Trust me on that one.